Guys, welcome back to YouTube. We've had a massive three week break from it. I actually didn't have a camera, so I sat my camera on the gas heater over there and fired it up because it's cold of a night time here in the workshop and I melted my camera. So one, we had a break from YouTube for a little bit and two, we had a lot of um, work to do and also a lot of planning, I guess, of what's going on. So as you can see beside me, we've got the billet block back out of the GTR. Now what I've done here is after our incident from the last episode which was losing a power steering belt which my fault by the way it was too big the power steering belt was slightly too big it was loose it come off and took out our oil pump belt so we data check the data log and we actually lost oil pressure for all of 0.35 of a second before the mtron the Mtron shut down ignition and fuel. However, we still sort of rolled down a hill probably about, I don't know, 20 meters, so 10, 15 seconds. Complete load off the engine and it had cut out. So there was more than enough oil up on the cams. The cams are fine. There's no wear or any damage on those. They're actually looking really good and it was good to check those anyway. Now, Knowing me, I just couldn't sleep right at night without pulling the sump off and checking our rod bearings. So that's where we're at at the moment. We've got the subframe on the bench over there and we've also got our gearhead stiff here, which is sitting up nice and straight. So it's pretty cool to see everything brand new. I've never actually pulled a GTR apart before with all the new parts on it. So today I guess we're going to do a quick check of the rod bearings, flip this motor upside down and check it out. We've also taken delivery of some pretty cool new and exciting parts. Have a look at this right here. To me this is just the absolute pinnacle of intercoolers. This is a monster five and a half inch Plasma Man Pro Series intercooler thanks to Anthony from Dartone Racing. So Anthony hooked us up with this thing. Appreciate it, mate. We, um, we love working with you guys, and yeah, this thing is just insane. So we went ahead with this larger intercooler uh, because our intake air temps were up slightly with the last turbo, and with our new G45 turbo that we have down here, they definitely are gonna be up. So we've got the big new Garrett turbo, we've got a new intercooler to keep it cool. I've actually also got some new tread on the tyres, so I actually went ahead and put some new 275s on. So 275 is the widest tyre I've ever run, and when you put them on a, um, a 9 inch rim, it looks so sick how you've just sort of got that bulge over the side. I don't like a stretch rim on a GTR, I think the bulge is where it's at. So that's pretty cool too. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget we do have YouTube membership live now. So jump onto YouTube. It's, for some people it's, they actually are having trouble finding the join and the subscription button. Use the internet browser on your phone. You'll be able to join. It's $4.99 a month. And you like today we gave away a thousand dollar GoFastBits skate for the first month. We appreciate the support. Sorry for the absence. We're back and we're going to get straight into it. Flashback. Let's work, a, work our way around now to the front of the motor and we're going to start stripping all the ancillaries as I call them. So we're taking our belts off, just checking everything as we go. There's a, there's a fair bit of belt dust and a bit of grime and shit down in there. So I want to clean all that out, get it, get it looking Mickey Mouse. And I also want to paint the things again. It drives me fucking mad, but look at that. Billet water pump from Bullet Engineering and goes rusty on the end. I hate that. Um, all our pulleys go rusty too. That's a Frenchie's Performance Garage one, which is pretty good. The front of it's been anodized. Um, obviously the weather belt runs will, will wear off when you get it running but these pulleys back here like we'll just give them a coat of something even if we clear them just to stop them from rusting because everything looks so sweet and then you see that we're going to do something different and we're going to, we're going to remove the HKS cam gears and I've got some some new ones coming and I'm also thinking about removing this backing plate and then putting billet cam covers on so the gold may be gone for now, but we'll see. We, it's hard because our, our next car hasn't turned up yet. Hope. What we're gonna do is cut open our oil filter. The reason for doing this is we obviously lost oil pressure from the belt, which is hence why we got everything out. So I actually kept the oil filter. Um, 
I went through the oil vigorously to check to make sure there was nothing, no contamination of metal or no signs of wear of rod bearings or anything. But this is gonna be the, uh, this will tell us everything we need to know. So let's cut it open now. Wix, Wix filters, probably some of the best, what well, they are, they're the best filters in the game. Now, we are actually, our marine business, outside of YouTube, we are a Wix dealer and I love these filters. And Okay, so you just want to sort of, it's just like a pipe cutter, I guess. So just put a bit of tension on it. After you've done a couple of runs, and it feels like the tension's got a bit easier. It's literally like opening a can of soup. Probably don't need to go into it too much. Okay, there we go. So, pop the top off. So, can already see a bit of metal in the filter and there's definitely going to be some metal in this because it's this is its first proper oil change since running but if we look in there it's actually oh there's a bit there that's i don't know what that is let's get a light and check it out Carefully pull it apart. Now this is where it's going to tell us all the exciting stuff. So just clean our plate off here. Then we can roll the whole thing out to see clear as. So we run in the oil, we've run in oil in it on the dyno. We then drop that oil out and put this fresh oil in it. Now this is that oil filter there. So it's still sort of, I guess, its first oil change. So we're going to expect to see a few things, but um, any of these little sort of shiny spots, we're definitely going to pull off the sump now and just make sure there's no any extra wearing on rod bearings. I can tell you that there's nothing wrong with the cams. The head still had plenty of oil in it. Just slip the Hollinger back. So undone all the bolts, bell housing bolts, Slid it back, supported the motor, so everything's sitting pretty neat on this table. It's working out pretty well so far. But what I want to point out is this OS Gaiken four plate clutch. And if you're sleeping on these things, don't. They are so insane. It's, it's the best clutch pedal ever. Four plate, so you're never going to get any slippage. But look at this, there's no dust. Like, I literally just dropped that, slipped that straight back and there's no dust there. Let's have a look in the bell housing. Look at that, it looks clean as a whistle. So, man, I can't get over it. It's still a nice bit of grease on there where I put it together. Oh, I'm out of breath, that was, that was, fuck. this thing was heavy, man, far out. So, I'm gonna get this powder coated. Uh, for those OGs that have watched the channel, you would have remembered that this come back from powder coating blue. We have no idea why or how. I didn't ask for it to be blue. I literally got the subframe and everything done in the gloss black and that turned back, cut that come back blue. Fuck, I don't know why. Everything else come back black and that one piece blue. I think they just thrown it in with the wrong powder batch. I don't, I don't know. But we're gonna get that fixed because it looks ridiculous. So while I've got the motor and the box out, I'm just going over a few small jobs um, just to tidy them up. And one thing I noticed when I, I dropped the box out, the, this Hollinger gear box out, is I noticed that they've gone and used just um, mild steel bolts, I guess, and, and fasteners. So what I'm actually doing is one by one, and also with a bit of transparent silicon, I'm just removing the Allen keys and replacing them with stainless ones. And the stainless looks, you can see there, looks so much better. So I've already done, whoop, I've already done these two, and then I'll do the rest. But also even this plate here has gone rusty and you know, put a bit of WD-40 on it, brings it back up. But wouldn't you just use, either paint that or use aluminium or stainless? I think that for a gearbox of this caliper, and it is probably the best sequential gearbox I've ever had, it's absolutely unreal. But yeah, just skimping on these little things drives me nuts. Cause so it's the little things like that that really makes your build stand out from others. And I've seen some really hack job builds on YouTube lately. So doing things like this, changing things over to stainless steel instead of rusty, 
I mean, these work, but they look terrible and it's not what people pay for with their build. So look at that, five minutes and it looks a million bucks. Now we've got that off. We're pretty well right to sort of lift the engine up out now. We're gonna leave the head on. We don't wanna disturb that. Everything's fine there. So cylinder head stays on. The majority of the stuff will, we'll leave our engine mount arms, we'll leave them on. We'll just undo the mount here. And then I think everything at the front right to sort of be left on. Yep, it's pretty good, it's pretty nice and clean. So what we'll do is we'll get the forklift over there, we'll get that in and then we'll lift it up, buzz off this sump, check it out. Well, the motor is supported by the, the forklift now, so we've got a fair bit of weight on it. Just sort of lifted it up out of the cradle. And what we've got to do is, I haven't drained the diff oil yet, but I'm about to drain it really quick. Make sure, wow, everyone knows on RBs, these tricky 10 mils at the front of your sump. They go into the oil pump normally, but this is actually going into the, oh, those ones are Allen keys, are they? Yeah, it's Allen key because it's got the MoTeC crank angle sensor on it. So swap over to, a, oh no, there's another 10 mil on there. See, the sneaky dogs. Rightio, good morning guys. It is a nice, fresh Sunday and uh, we're here nice and early in the workshop this morning to finish working on the, the billet block. So I just cleaned everything up last night, just sort of moved the table back under the GTR with the subframe on it. So we'll go over that later, but that all looks pretty, pretty good. Everything's new. We are gonna paint these or powder coat the uprights this time. So I'll get those off. But as for the block, the block looks mint. We're gonna lift the engine up and drop that sump off and check out these rod bearings. Pretty excited to see what they look like. I'm sure they'll be fine. If they're not, we'll fix them, no big deal. That's what we do, that's why we're doing this. that look you can see in there our cool oil pickup for the wet sump so it scavenges right along the bottom of the sump to get all the oil and then it comes out the side there at the bottom so okay so we're going to take a break from working on the, the block right now because we've got our monthly giveaway to do for the membership so thank you for everyone that has joined so far I have had a couple of people say they they can't join um, because they can't find the membership or the join button. So there's a couple of things you can try. You can update your phone um, and if that doesn't work, you'll have to go on like not through the app, um, through Safari or whatever internet icon is on your phone, Samsung. You just gotta hunt around for it. I don't know, I can't fix it, sorry. But it definitely is there. It's either a join button or a membership button. But um, the first giveaway actually went to someone from Rockhampton, so local, which is pretty cool. So he's actually, it's about an hour drive away from where we are. So he's made his way down in his JDM car. So we'll go check it out, our first monthly giveaway, which is pretty cool. Don't forget, sign up. Next month will be a set of tough mount engine mounts for an RB block. And then don't forget the first 250. So the first 50 members will go into a draw to win a merch pack. So these awesome warm hoodies, which has got the RB on the back and t-shirt and hats. So let's go give away our first prize. Yeah, there we go. That's um, 
first monthly giveaway is a go far to pierced wastegate 44 mil so i'm sure that will come in handy to ethan's next build it'll probably end up on this yeah. it'll end up on this <laughs> yeah we're gonna carefully rotate this thing over Sweet, they look perfect. Still plenty of oil in there, look at that, that's brand new. So there's no marks on that one so far, I can't see anything. So, yeah, that's unreal. I'm so happy with that, I feel a lot better. I mean, it should look like that, considering the rest of the motor and what m -Trodden did to cut oil pressure when it cut or load through it. But I did wind it over for a while, so it's good to check them out. So I'm gonna check all the rest, but Looking at that, it should be fine. Um, so that's great. So I guess that gives us a bit of direction now. We know this motor's okay. I'll check the rest of them and uh, we'll go from there. But we've got some stuff turning up this week just with the car and with a lot of stuff going on with Nori Factory. So stay tuned. Hope you liked the episode. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and become a member. If you have any trouble signing up to the, the GDR's Le GDR Legends membership, send us a message on Instagram and we'll, we'll reach out to you. Until next time, cheers. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head?